as you said? Yes, we're going to click on my communications. So this right here is your gold. This is the email sequence. So now we're going to hover over communications at the top and we're going to click on sequences. This is the part that kind of scares me. Yeah, this, gets... this is this is this is this is more detailed, but it's it's going to be very simple. So so what I do always is I'll always now again, the a sequence is your automated emails, right? The drip, the automation, all these emails are going to go out while you're sleeping. That's the sequence, but not every and 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 every sequence is always tied to a list. But it's not every list that needs a sequence. So so not every list that you create an email list, not every list like your appointments as I mentioned before, your appointments don't need a sequence. So right. they don't need to be in a sequence. I don't need to send 10 emails to everyone who's scheduled an appointment that are on right. my appointment list, right? So it's mm -hmm. only certain list that that are going to get tied to a sequence. So what I do is I'll click on hover over leads at the top real quick and click on list. So hover over leads, click on list, and let's just look at that list real quick. So the list, what I'll always do is I'll name the sequence what I named the list. So the list is seller guide leads. That's right. what I'll also name the sequence. So hover, hover over communications, click on sequence. So over here, I would name it the same, just so I don't confuse myself. See, so now over here, you have four home, right? So let's get rid of that. Let's, let's hit the edit to the right. And we're going to get rid of four home and just name it seller guide leads. Keep it the same, seller guide leads. Perfect. So now we go in, click on the green one, edit. Okay, perfect. So now, now it's going to bring us to the dashboard. Now it's going to bring us to the settings. And, and I'll, I'll show you how to do all this stuff right here. Um, there's only a few things, but yeah, start tutorial. And here's just a, a simple walkthrough of, of everything. The starting rules, everything starts there at the starting rules. I'm going to give you a crash course, but just keep hitting next. Just scroll down. Next, 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 next. You're going to hit next like 10 times. So scroll down. Next, next, next. So you got the starting rules and then you got everything to the left, which I'll show you how to, how to, how to, how to use, but next. And then that, that button at the top is how you arrange the icons. You can oh. look at everything from left to right or from top to bottom, hit next. I'll, I'll show Wait. you all this stuff inside. So you can zoom in and out, hit next, and then, and then, and then done and exit. Okay, next. And then just put don't show again. So hit next, next. And then don't don't show again. Okay. And then let's get started. Okay, so here's the deal. This right here is what I I already have the template already already saved for you, but I'm going to show you how to do one from scratch. So there's one, two, three, four, five templates that are already there. Now what what I want you to keep doing is keep adding. This is this is something that's going to go on forever. Like I I recommend having 55 emails in here eventually. Like. You don't got to do all of them right now, but I'm just saying this is what we talked about on our last call. Keep adding to these emails like this. This is where appointments are going to come from. So you don't want this to end. You don't want it to end. Um, a person is either going to unsubscribe or they're going to end up scheduling an appointment. I mean, that's that's just the bottom line. So I want these emails to go on forever. So here's what you're going to do. Those are already set there. They're already preset. Everything's mm -hmm. from the starting rule. So hover over that starting rule and, and click on edit everything is based on the starting rule. So we're telling the system that the people who start to receive these emails are the people who filled out that form. Yeah. So cool. we can go off a form, we can go off of a tag, off of a list, if someone purchased something, an order, like we'll just keep it simple and, and, and go off the form. Whoever fills out that form lands in this sequence. So click on save, we'll leave that as is. And then, and then now again, here are all the emails. Now let's leave those emails there for now. I'm going to just show you how to, how to add, how to keep adding. So scroll to the very, very bottom. And you can see that the line very bottom, you can see that the line that's connected to the complete that's mm -hmm. connected. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to delete that line. So that arrow going from Y choose K, Yeah. Right there. X X perfect. Now all we're going to do is we're going to hover over the complete, hover over where it says immediately after. Try try clicking out, click out, click away. Yeah, right there, right there. That's when you can drag it. 
So right there. So drag, click, and drag it below. Drop it, drop it oh. lower. Yeah, bring it I'm lower. Sorry. Bring it lower. Drag it lower. Give, we need some room. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. It's good. Perfect. Okay. So here's what you're going to do. For every time you add a new email, all you're going to do is come down, take away the line, and, and give yourself some room. And then go to the top left, send email. So just like the page builder, we're going to go to the very, no, no, to the top, to the left. Scroll right down. Here, yeah. Scroll down. We need to be at the bottom. Scroll down. Okay. So right here, send email, click and drag and put it right below. Why choose KW? So we're going to, we're going to click and we're going to drag it and drop it right below. Perfect. Give yourself some room. Yep. Right there. Let it go. Perfect. So now we're going to tell the system when, do, when does this email go out? So we can always wait a number of days. We can send it right away after previous step, which we don't want to do. Um, or we can execute on a specific date. So mm -hmm. in this case, just wait a number of days. So click on right. wait a number of days. And, and, and what I want to do is I want to send out an email every other day. Like every other day is fine. Like every other day, you won't piss people off. Every other day, I mean, every day tends to get annoying. Like I receive emails from some people every day and it's a bit much. So okay. every other day is, 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 is good. That's, that's, that, that's not going to piss people off. So the zero turn to um, change it to one. one, wait one day. Yeah. Wait one day. Or is it two days? If I wanted to go every other day, would it be wait one day or would it wait two days? I think two days. Yeah. Let's go two. let's go two. that's fine. Let's go two. and then hit next. Okay. So here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. If you can see the timeline at the top, we have delay, we have day and time, we have communication gateway. So all we're doing is we're working our way to the right. That's all this is, is we're working our way to the right. So day and time, I leave it as is. I don't change anything right here. Hit next. And then communications, all this is, is internally. What I'm naming the email internally. What I do here is I, I tend to name it internally, name of the broadcast, the communication. This is my name internally. I tend to name mine the same subject line of the email. Now, right. we may not know the subject line at this point, but yeah. we should. We should. I mean, whatever that subject line of the email is, I normally name it right here the same. Okay. So you can always edit this. You can always change it for sure. But for now, just put email seven. I don't know what email we're on, but you can change it later. Email seven. I think we're on like, I think up there was like nine. Okay. So put email nine, whatever. You can always change it. So, um, and then hit next. And then now the gateway. So the gateway is just simply showing us where it's coming from. The sender's name, leave that all, all as is. You'll never change this. That, 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 that's perfect the way it is now. So hit next. And then the recipients. So in this case, what I do is by the time I'm on email number 10, and here's just yeah. the way it is, the way, the way it is when it comes to online marketing, it doesn't matter what your business, it doesn't matter what your product, it's all the same. Mm -hmm. By the time we get to, by the, by the time an individual gets to email number 10, you're going to have mm -hmm. a few that have already unsubscribed. Right. Okay, right, so, right. so, so at this point, 10 emails later, you'll have a couple that have already unsubscribed for whatever mm -hmm. reason. So in this case, what I do is I go off of, you know what, just so you don't have to do it this way anymore. Or, or all the time, I should say. Just go ahead and click the drop down. Click the drop down. Hit select, and just go anyone reaching this step. Anyone reaching this step, because we're going to change the starting rule. Click on add. You won't have to do this for everyone. So the recipient, you won't have to do this for everyone. We're going to just do it here. Anyone reaching the step, because I'm going to. We're going to do an edit real quick. So click next. Click next, and then and then the split test. Just go one email, single email. We don't need to split test this and then hit next. And then now we're in the body of the email. So this is where we write whatever we're going to write. So this is the content. Um, once we finalize this part, then we're going to change something at the top, the starting rule. So you don't have to okay. change the recipient. So you don't have to do the recipients every time because I don't, I don't want you to, do, I don't want you to have to do that every time. So here's what I do here in the email. So this is the email. This is the way it looks. This is the way it looks in, 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 in a sequence. This is what it looks like when we set up a broadcast. This is what it looks like in the email calendar as we go and set up the email calendar. 
and and we have our booking confirmation email and then we have the the one hour reminder email that goes out to the lead before their before your zoom call right yeah. just like you got with me today today you got mm -hmm. an, an email notification what, whatever yeah. it is this is the way it looks so this is the email content this is where we write the email so what i do just like we did for the page we saved the footer right we saved the oh. footer so we can use the same footer over and over and over. I do that with my email as well. I use the same template over and over and over. So what I do is I go advanced. So toggle that button at the top advanced from basic to advanced. So let's, let's shift it over to advanced over here. I can go design templates and I can either design my own template, just like I'm building a page, or mm -hmm. I can use Kartra's templates. So design templates, Oh, wait, you want me to use the design templates? Okay. And click on full templates. And now you can look at all these templates that Karcher already has designed. And, okay. and, and you can click, drag it over, and just work around that one. You can delete three images. You can change the orange button to purple. You can change everything. It's full-blown editing. But, but it's just a template. So... That's a good one. It? Yeah, for sure. You can you can go off of this one and then just change the colors, change the image, add your logo. Um, you can delete anything, what but but that's a clean one. I would use something like that. And then once I I I edit everything, once I change the colors, add the image, and then and then once I scroll to the bottom and I update all those social media icons, that's what mm -hmm. I would do. I would use I would use this one for sure because it has all the social media icons. Once I update the icons, once I change out the copyright, so go to the bottom. Once I change out the word, you know, the copyright, put your company name. I'll mm -hmm. update all that, and then okay. I'll save as template. Oh, okay. And then now, as I go into the second email, I'll just come over here. I'll grab my template, drag that over, and then just change out the text you know, okay. change out the verbiage and maybe, yes. maybe change out the image if needed, you know, um, but is this but what, one will save ahead. yours so that you don't have to do the footer again and the logo yes. and all that. Yes. Oh, yes. Like, so just, and again, you can just use one of Karcher's templates, which is what this one is, or you can create your own. Like you can, it's, it's just like building a page. So if you scroll to the top, right where it says full templates, go to the left, hit the left arrow. So right here, you're in, you're in, you're in the full templates. So hit the left. Yeah, hit that. So now you can scroll down headlines, text, content, images, buttons. I can create my whole damn own template if I wanted to. Do you do that? Footers, footers, there's footers. So if you click on footers, mm -hmm. you know, if we click on, you know, testimonials, click on everything. I mean, look at it all, like see yeah. what the hell's in here, you know, click on, yeah, click on. I get would it be fun to do some of that stuff? Yeah, click on footers. You know, click on footers. Take a look at all of it. You got you got a bunch of different footers in here. You know, so you can click and, and drag one of those over and and, yeah. and save that. So mm -hmm. but my point is is that just what I really bring over to save is my social media icons and maybe the logo, if anything. I'll change out the image all the time on every email. I'll change out the text on every email. But I'm really bringing, I'm really saving myself myself time by having to redo those links, the the social media links every every email. You know what I mean? Because I think it's cool to have the social media, the, the the icons, the social media icons in your emails. I mean, it looks it looks good, but yeah. you don't want to do that every freaking email. You know? No. So so save a template and just use that template over and over. So now, if I come back, if I save this template, mm -hmm. and later tonight I want to um, put, you know plop my um verbiage in here yeah go ahead and hit I, the pencil hit the pencil let's do that real quick hit the pencil okay. that one right there okay yeah so all you're gonna do is just delete that go to your word document copy that actually you might want to go to the word document first go to the word document first let's copy the first email on, and, 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 and just simply paste it in right there can't i why won't it let me um Minimize my screen, I wonder. Just scroll to the very, very bottom of your screen here. Scroll to the very, very bottom and look for that document. Just pull up the document from there. So go to the very, very bottom of your screen. Think I'm going to be able to do it from there. Well, where's your icons at? Do you, are you on a, 
actually no, no, I PC. Hit escape. Time. Hit escape on your um on your keyboard there. Escape. Wait, let me see. Maybe I can. I'm trying to Yeah, right there. See your icons at the yeah. bottom. So yeah, just find that doc. So is this what I was supposed to say? Because you told me, I think you told me to say this. I'm so happy you yes. chose to learn more about selling your home. Is that right? Yeah, for sure. Talk to talk to the person like you know, like you already know this stuff. Like how someone just downloaded your seller guide. What are you telling them next? You know, like oh. you you'll oh, find information. I yeah, that's good stuff right there. Indeed. So now just go back to Kartra and then just, just simply I get to see. I hope I copied it. Uh. Yeah, so open up the cart tab. All you're going to do is just hover over this. Yeah, and just just delete. Maybe leave that headline, but but go down and just delete the bottom. Yeah, paste it in right there. Do I have to cut first? No, 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 no. Just paste. You already cut from the document. Okay. Perfect. There it is there. So now, Great. so 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 look, this could be let's say Let's say I want them to click, watch, so let's practice this part. Hover over the button, click here. So click, maybe click away. Yeah, okay, there you go. There, okay, perfect. So in this one, we're just practicing, but, but, but at the same time, I mean, this is good practice. Right there, the button, I could put click here to download your free seller guide, right? I can write that right at the top. Right. Go back to the button. Oh. Yeah, you're clicking too much. Oh, you, yeah, I think you I lost it. So right here at the top. Oh, you see it? Because I don't. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, got it. so right there, you can write, click here to download your free seller guide. You oh. know, right there where it says click here. That's that's where you type it in right there. Click here to download your free seller guide. You know, so, so that's that. You can change the color of the button. And then that URL... That's where your link would go for your PDF. We got to copy the PDF first. We got to get the link for the PDF first, but that's where okay. you would put it. You know, right. you would where put would it I, right there. Where where the link is? So right there where, where it says hashtag link, you would yeah. delete that and you would put in your link to your PDF, which so I'll what, show you how to get. Okay, do you want me to do that now? I mean, no, I mean, no, I mean, we can, but, but, um, but I'm just showing you where it, where it goes. That, that's where it would go. So, so now let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So let's go to the top, let's go to the top. So let's say, for example, that was our email. Now let's actually go to the bottom, save as template, go ahead and save as template. Let's practice save as template. Okay. So now it's saved. And now in your next email, you'll be able to grab this same template and, and use it again. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and X out of that. And so now all those icons would be would be linked correctly. The copyrights at the bottom would say your company name, right? Mm -hmm. You change out all that. And then and then at the top, you'll go in and scroll up. And I, my logo, it just doesn't go on these things because it's not I can put my company logo, but I can't put Austin's Boutique Realtor because of the way. I mean, I could just type in Austin's Boutique Realtor, but it's the way it's configured. No, that's fine. Not... That's fine. You can just put, you, I mean, you can hit the pencil. You can hit the pencil and just, and just, it's, yeah, I don't know what, go ahead and try upload an image. That would be a PNG file. Yeah. So I don't think go, um... you could just try, I mean. out of that logo. So if you just hover over the logo, you'll see where the X is. So it's either, the, yeah, you can delete that blue one or you can go into it and delete the pink one. So, so yeah, so you can delete whatever section of it that you want. I, and then I can just have my title right here. Yeah, yeah, you can just have your title right Do there. I, name after the thanks. What's that? Do I need to put my name after the thanks? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Whatever you would normally do on an email. Well, I didn't know if it just. Um, I didn't try know. Try not clicking on it. Try not to click. Click on the pencil. 
like don't click on the button, like click on the pencil, if anything, not that one, it'd be the pink one. So it shows you where, where everything is at. Like this yeah. is the outside. The pencil is, is the inside. Yeah. Stop clicking the button. Yeah. Cause it'll take you out and you'll lose, you'll lose all this. So yeah. the pen right there, that pink right there, that controls the middle part. So it's right. that pink pencil. Okay. I wanted to do this because I don't like the way it looks. I have to make some. I have to put some spaces there. So I want it to go all to the second line. Let's see. Yeah, it might just be for one line. I'd put download your free seller guide or download your free seller guide now. Maybe something like that, but it won't it won't go to a second line. I'll just say um, click instead. Okay, so now go to the top and you're gonna always, to save it, you're gonna always, always go to the top and then um, you have to put a subject line. That's why you're not able to go next yet. So subject line. So again, whatever I'm naming the subject line is what I would name the communications as well. Yeah. Okay, so so download, yeah, download, download free seller guide, perfect. So I would also name the communications that as well. Okay. Yeah, In fact, you know here. what? Go ahead and copy it. Copy, download free sellers. Guy, copy that subject line. Copy it. I'm sorry. And then, and then, and then scroll to the very, very bottom. Go ahead and copy. Scroll to the very, very bottom, and just go. Um, actually, uh, we have template. to get out of here. No, 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 no. Just go up. Go up. Let's just get out of here. Hit next. Yeah, hit the next. Okay, perfect. So now we're in the automations. Hit create. Yeah, we can always go back to communications later. So click create. Okay, so now that was one full blown setup of an email. Okay, once you once you do that, now you come down. Nope, go down. Go down. Hit the three dots on inactive, and then you go activate. And then all you're gonna do is connect the line. So collect connect the Y choose KW. Yep, connected to that one. And then you would. Go to the send email on the top left, drag it down, and, and, and now do email number 11. Don't do that now. Do that later. Yeah. But, but scroll down. And then once you're finished, now connect it to the complete. complete. So now okay. connect it to the complete. Email 10. Yeah. You want me to do it now? Yeah. Connect it to the complete. And then, and then arrange it. So at the very, very top, hit that hamburger looking thing at the very, very top very top um, to the left, right there, arrange. Yeah, perfect. Wow. Click on that one and that lines up everything. Now here's what we're gonna do real quick. We're gonna change the start and rule. Change the start and rule. Click on edit, the start and rule. Yeah, right there, click on edit. We're not gonna go off the opt-in form because as I get to email number 10, I don't wanna have to keep changing the recipients. I don't wanna have to keep changing the recipients. So what I'm gonna do, Rather than going off of the lead form, so X out of that, the bottom, bottom, the X, no, 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 bottom, lead fills form, X out of that one, we're going to go off a list. So anyone okay. who is on this list, so click on list, anyone who is on this list, so select list, go to seller leads, seller guide leads, anyone who is on this list will get these emails. Because as I go and click on add, click on save, as I get down to email number seven, email number eight, email number nine, I don't want to have to go keep changing the recipients to anyone who's on this list. I'll just create the start and rule. Anyone who's on this list, they get these emails. And if you're not on that list because you unsubscribed by the time you got to email number nine, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You won't get these emails. Okay. And so they won't based on the, set they, up a call. Yeah, they won't. What's that? And they won't get it if they already set up a call with me. That's what we're going to actually set up right now. So, okay. so, so these are, these are the emails now for you to simply now that email number 10, that was just an example. That was just an example. So you're going to want to go in there and edit that email later on, but let's go to the first one, click on the three dots, go to edit. This is the one that goes out immediately. So the moment they opt in, and download mm -hmm. your free seller guide. This is the one that goes out immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to leave the previous step or or the delay right after previous step. Leave that. This okay. is the first email. 
The date and time, leave that. The communication, let's edit that. And this is the subject line of the first email. So. But that's not what I want right there. Yes, it is what you want right there. Oh, really? What do you mean? It's going to say, well, is that going to say that on theirs? No. Yeah, that's what we're going to change right now. So remember, I, I'm naming it the same. The communication, this broadcast name is the same name of the subject line of the email. So what's the subject line of the subject line of the email? And it's not going to say custom marketing plan email number one. No, change it. What's no. the change it to the subject line of your of your email? What's the subject line? Download the seller's guide. Perfect. So put that right there. This is so now we're in the first email. So now we're really editing this first email. That other one, email 10, that was just an example. So oh, okay. this is the first email. Download your sell, your free seller's guide. Okay, so click on edit. That's the name internally of the broadcast. That's also going to be the name of the subject line of the email. So now okay. as I go down, so the recipients will leave that as none, split test off, email content. That's what we want. So go to email content, edit that one change that subject line that's download your free seller guide so not your custom marketing plan change that subject line no the subject line this yeah right there at the top that's the subject line so that's download your free seller guide perfect so again the communication the broadcast just name it the same okay and the reason for it, the reason for it, the reason for it, click on edit, click on edit, the green one. The reason why I name them the same is because as I'm looking at my email sequence, click on X, X out of this one, close. As I come in here and I look at my emails from this view, I mm -hmm. can now tell what email is what. The first right. one is download your free seller guide. But if I get to email number two and it just says open houses email number two, and then I go pricing your home email number three. Yeah, if I if I put pricing your home, negotiations, open house, that's the title. So I could just look at it and know what email that is. But if right. I just put email 10, email 13, email 14, I'm not going to know what email that was. I'll know the number, but I'm not going to know the exact freaking, right. like what was the topic of that email? You know what I mean? So. Right. I want to be able to look at this and that's the title right there, the broadcast name, the title. So download your free seller guide. That's that first email. So okay. go back into it, click on the dots, click on edit. Let's go back into it. And then now we're going to go down as we get to the settings, we're going to go down to email content and, and let's go back in there. So all you're doing is you're coming into each email. You're going to email content. You're changing mm -hmm. the communication title and then you're going to email content. Click on that and just paste in what you have on your Word document. So this is now the start of email one. So again, you can use that same template. If you click on design templates to the left. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so if you just click on design templates, design templates. So you'll see, you'll see my templates right there, the heart. So if you click on my template, nope, go back, go back. That so if you click it? on my templates, oh, okay. there's and your there template. It and it's now, got my email. Well, it, it doesn't have your email. It doesn't have anything. So you got to customize it first and then save it. Okay. Right? Because you save just saved the other one. You saved the initial one, which isn't going to do you any good, right? You got to, you want to customize everything on it and then save it. And As then just can. use it, just use it over and over and over. Okay. So in here, all you're going to do is just hover over the text and paste in, you know, what, what you got. So just hit that pencil and then paste in that, um, that text from your document. Oh, from my document. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have it saved now. So there's that you'll copy that and, and then just bring it over and then do the same thing for number two, same thing for number three. So hit the pencil and just and just paste in. And I gotta get rid of this. Rip through. Oh yeah, that's that girl. So what what I also do a lot is I'll 
I'll use the dynamic variable. So, so scroll to the left, to the left, go dynamic variables right at the top. What I use a lot is their first name. So if I copy that first name right there in parentheses, right down, you uh, see in parentheses, first name. Yeah. If you copy that and then you paste it wherever you want, that, that pulls the lead's name. Really? So, so I could put, hello, Jack. Hello, Stacy. Hey, Stacy. And by the way, did you catch my last email? Like I use that for everything in my emails. It just sounds right. more personal, you know? How do I move this down? So, so go ahead and click on the edit and just, just get the cursor and just hit enter and just, okay. um, and just bring it down a little bit. No up, go back up. Yeah. Hit that edit. Yeah, so, so just go up a little bit and then just um, and then just paste it in. And it'll pull it up. Great. Yeah, see, so there I'll put hello, I'll put hi, I'll put hey, I'll put maybe just their first name, put a comma, put a comma right there. So, so yeah, hi, Jack, and then a comma. So that that pulls the lead's name. Um, mm. And then, and then I can delete the red button. So if I want to hover over the button, I can delete it or I can, or I can use the red button, you know, for future. Oh, I want to delete it because um, I'm not putting a video in. Yeah. In yeah. Show. So go ahead and just click out and then hover over it. There we go. Yeah. So it's the blue, the blue, the blue, the blue, the blue. So again, you got the pink and you got the blue. Do we want to, it, it's up to you what you want to delete. I would delete the blue. So that deletes right. the whole entire that whole entire right. row, and then and then down here you got the social media icons. I would use the other templates. See, that's that's why templates are so important because look, for example, with this one you got those three icons, but the, right. the footer in the in the in the other email looks different, right? Just the mm -hmm. little details are super important. Keep the right. same consistency in in all your all your emails. I have to also customize this up here. That's the title. Yeah, you can get rid of that. You can you can write something else. You can mm -hmm. um, you can X out the blue right there. You got the pink and then you got the blue. And then and then what you can do is you can go back to dynamic variables, click on click on that, and then go to the templates. So click on the dynamic variables. Yep, click right there, and then go to design templates. And then you can scroll down. There's headlines. So if I want, mm -hmm. I can choose a different headline to put at the top, or you can mm -hmm. click on other ones. You can click on other ones. Yeah. So, or go to headlines. You could just click on, you know, different. So you got text, you got content, you got images, you got buttons, videos, headers. So there's headers. Um, mm -hmm. Click on headers. And there's, there's, so there's these different ones with social media icons and your logo. So, I mean, you can, you can create whatever the heck you want. And, right. But all I'm saying is do it one time, do it one time and then save as template. Okay. And just, just use the same one over and over. So, so um, like footers is my footer here. No, um, no, your footer's not on this one. So you can, you can add one of those footers, you know, okay. um, you can add and one of those. Template. So and then click, if drag it below. Yeah, drag it. Yeah, click that one. Drag it below. And it'll say right there, drop your block. So now you can update that copyright. All rights reserved. You can put your company name there. You can change the year. You can, you can, um, you can, I would delete that bottom. Yeah, there's nothing there. It's blank. So just delete it. The blue, the blue one. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And then, and then the icons, you can hover over the icons and put your, lo put your link in there. You can get rid of the email, the envelope one, because I don't know why that's there, but you can just X out of that one. Yeah, X out of that one. Perfect. And then just link up your LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. and then and then just save as template. You know, so right there, that's 2021, put your company name. So this type of stuff, it is the time consuming part, as I keep mentioning. And, it, and it's, it's, it's just, we got to just knock it out one time. And so being able to keep that template saves you a lot of time in the future with all these future emails, you know? So, so saving in progress, this template is saved. 
So now, now what you'll do, and and it's just the little details. You know, hover over the pink over the word high, edit, bring that. You see how you have a space? So bring that high, bring it up, hit edit, and then put the cursor right next to the word high, and then just hit backspace, bring it up one. Actually, no, not right there, right there. Perfect. So, okay. so, so thanks. Well, and then, yeah, put your name at the end, you know. Well, I still want to use this. That's not your template. That's, that's, that's the full template. So you got to go to your template. You got to go to your heart. So my templates, but, but you don't want to use that one because you didn't save it. I mean, you didn't, you didn't customize anything. So again, what you'll want to do. Sure all. Maybe use that one, click, drag it over. And then, and then deck it out. This is your first email. So why don't you deck out this first template? Make it look, make it look you, right? Change oh, the color of the button, change the okay. social media icons. Okay. You know, change out everything. Okay. This becomes the first template. So once you put all your information, you know, change the color of your, of the button, if that's not your pink, you know, and then, and then change out all those social media icons and okay. then save as template. And so you don't want to say multiple, you want to save the final copy. So click on my templates to the left. Let's delete. Let's delete that, that saved one real quick. The pink one, delete that one. Yep. Delete that one. Get rid of it. Cause we're going to save this, this next one. When so, I get it all, after I get it all, um, should I delete this? Yeah. Or yeah. Delete it, delete it and just copy and paste it again at, at the top. I think that I have it already on there. I have high first name and yeah. So, that. so you'll oh, want to, um, yeah, you have it there already. So perfect. So, so just delete the bottom part, if anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just thinking that I should, um, yeah, I'll delete this, but I should do the high first name again. Can I just copy? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, see, so now that that font looks different, or at least the color looks different, you know, so you just make sure that, that everything matches, you know, and bring that high first name, bring it down, it's too close to the headline. Okay. And, and then obviously, you'll want to change out that headline. But right. <clears throat> you'll always want to change the color of everything, make sure that the color matches up everything and make sure the font is the same and then make sure everything is the same size, the font because that okay. already looks different right there. Yeah. Right. This right here. Yeah, so that that looks in. different. You got to highlight it. You got to highlight it. Okay. And it should be 18. Is that what it is? Okay, 18. The rest of it is. Okay, perfect. And then also black, change the color to, to black because that's a gray. So highlight that. Hit, no, it's the other one, the A to the left. Yeah, that one. And then just go to, go to, yeah, perfect. Yeah, see, so little things like that, little things like that. And then your name, you know, thanks. Yeah, so that right there. So. Um, do you put your last name all the yeah, time? Yeah, I or? do. Yeah, I do. But I mean, even just first name is good too. It sounds more personal. Play with the emails a little then till I see you tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. And then um get rid of get rid of this this. Let's see, you have you got to get rid of this entire bottom part because you have everything at the top already. So let's just X out of, of yeah, the blue one, X out of that, X out of that, and then up, 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 go up. Lead, no, 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 no. Oh, you deleted that. No. Oh. oh want me to do well i wanted you to keep that part that was part of the template the footer yeah you have to just do it again let's um let's let's get out of here real quick scroll to the very very top where do you want me to go very very top go to the very top of this of this screen of your page of the email oh of the email okay yeah go to the very top and then hit edit 
Hit edit. You broke yep. up. Yeah, hit edit. Okay. And then what we need to do real quick is get out of here. Let's get out of here real quick. So let's go ahead and um, hit close. Hit close. This was the first email. This is going out right after they opt in. So hit done and exit, the green one, done and exit. Let's get the link real quick to the PDF. So if you click on my memberships to the left and then click on files yep. at the top, this is the link to your PDF. So this is where your PDF is at. So there get the link, get the link. And that was under my memberships? Yeah, my memberships files. Click on the link to the right, the, that little chain looking thing, click on that. Here's your link. So copy that whole entire thing. Just double click that entire thing. Double click it if you have to. So just copy the whole thing. Got it. And, and always make sure, open up another tab, open it up in a new tab. Just make sure you copied it all. You want me to put it in here? Yeah. So just paste it in, enter. Okay, so we're good. So go back to Kartra. Okay, so that's the link. We have it copied. Go back to Kartra. Go back to my, um, actually, X out of this. You had it open twice or something? No, 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 no. Leave it, leave it. No, 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 leave it, leave it. We hit done and exit already. So what happened? Hit done and exit. You had this open in another, another browser. Click done and exit. Okay, so now now go back in, click on the edit on Seller Guide Leads. Go back to edit. Okay, so edit. Let's go back to that first email. And that link is what goes in that button. So let's click the three dots and go to edit. Okay, so this is how you go in and edit your emails. Simple. Just okay. click on email content at the bottom. So look, we got our communications and we got our email content, both named the same. Right? right. So so now go into the edit of this one, into the email content, edit. Okay, so now scroll down. And again, you'll want to change out the rest of this, but there's the button. So hover over the button and just simply hit edit and paste in the link. So right there, the URL, take away that word. Yep, take that away and just pay, take away the, no, take away the hashtag too. You gotta delete all that. Did you delete? No hashtag, delete it all. That's where your link goes. Okay, I thought maybe it so, No, no, no. So get rid of the hashtag. Yeah, get rid of everything. Paste in your link. There goes your link. So now oh. again, update these social media icons and then mm -hmm. save as template. Okay. Okay. So you change out the copyrights, put your company name, simple. I mean, simple. Right. So, the thing to... so there okay. go, if you click on the link, that's where your URL goes. Go to your Instagram, grab your entire link, paste yeah. it in the URL, simple. Wow. So, so the copyrights, put your company name, you know, and then, and then you can always send test email to test the button. Oh, um, really? So you'll want to do that, you know, send test email, you don't have to do it now, but you know, fix everything first. And then you can always send a test email. Um, okay. And then and then once you update these social media icons, save as template. Okay, and then it's ready. And I can use then all I have to do is check is change the text. Yes. Yeah, so, so go ahead and save as template right now. Just save as template just for that. Just save as template. I have more things to do. So, so this will be saved for right now, but, but I want you to, to really link everything and then save it. So X out of this. So once you, once you update these social media icons, this is where you should be right now. Update those social media icons and then save as template. And this becomes your template. And then once you save it as template, you'll go to the very, very top and you'll just simply click on the green one. So click on, go to the very top, click on edit. That's how you exit out of this. If you don't click on edit there, it's not going to save. So once you click on edit there, then it brings you back to the settings. You're going to X out of this. So everything is already set X out. Then you go to email number two open house email number two, you'll hit the three dots. 
And what you'll want to do is edit. You'll want to change the name. It's not open house email number two. You'll change yeah. the communication, right? You'll title that whatever you're going to title the email. Right. And then the email content will be the same. And then you go to email content, you click on edit, and then you can use that same template and then just okay. change out the words, copy and paste in the next email. And that's it. Wow. Yeah. So, so this part right here, try to knock that out this part today, the, the rest of the emails, and then, and then we'll be ready. And then we're re we'll be ready to run that at tomorrow. Okay. But it, I don't have to already. Well, you know what? I know what my email content is on the other two emails. I only have three emails. So yeah, far. perfect. So just grab those two. other two and, okay. and whatever the subject line change right. the communication name at the same over here. Um, right. And then always scroll up. So hit close right here. Hit close. Can so, I do one while I have you on the phone? Though? Yeah. Oh, and always hit done and exit, right? Yeah, always hit done and exit. So go ahead and hit done and exit. And that saves everything. So now we just saved everything. Now we can go back in. Okay. What should I, what do you want me so to do? So hit the pencil. I want, okay. It's all Where? about the pencil. So go in and hit the edit. It's all about the edit. So seller guide leads, go to the pencil, click on edit. That's, that's what it's all about. So, so right here, edit. Yeah. So that's the first one. Um, mm -hmm. You'll just click on email content, click on edit and that's it. And then you'll go in there and update that email. And then um, there's, there's everything there. Okay. So I can just close this, right? It's not going to hurt anything. Yes. Yeah, so you just close it and you just, you'll go back. Okay. Now, let me just open Kartra in a different um, window. I'm going to close this. No, 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 no. Don't do it that way. You got to hit done and exit. Never exit that way because you won't say anything. Always hit done and exit. And even when you're on a page, don't X out of a page that way. If you're editing a page, always hit save progress, publish live, and return to dashboard. Okay. Even if I didn't make any changes? No. If you did not make any changes, then you don't have to do it that way. But if you make one single change, then yes, you do have to do it that way. Probably get used to doing it that way. Okay, I'm just going to get into Kartra one more time because I want to make sure I know how to get to that email edit part. That just bring, that, that's that's going to bring you in, and then again, the communication. You change out that title, and then you go into email content. That's it. And then just hit the pencil on email content. There goes number two. Copy that, paste it over there, and yeah. that's it. I'm just trying. Yeah. yeah. So I'll figure out what the best title for this will be. Yeah. I figure think. Out the, yeah, for yeah. sure. Figure out the title. Uh huh. And then I'll change content and change um, title. Yeah, yes. Let me go back. Yes. I have to know that I have to change. Um, great. I know there's two things I have to change to the same communication and email content. Yes. And they have the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Right. So go into email um, content, go ahead and go in, email content, edit. So over here, I would change the title, the subject line of the email. It's not open houses. I would change that and again match it with the communication. But then what right. I would also do is I would click on design templates. I would X out of everything to the right. So X out of everything to the right. Yeah. Click the oh. blue X out, X out, delete all of it. Delete yeah, all of it. it. Delete, delete. Yeah. And then just simply um, everything, everything. And then just, just go to my templates and then yeah. Take out the social media icons as well. Nope. Delete the icons as well. Everything. Okay. You need it to look like this blank drag, yeah. right? Right where it says drag. So now go to my templates and just get that template. So again, update it first and then, you know, you can use it over and over and over. So drop it, right. go ahead and drop yes. it. And then, uh, and then use it. Yeah. Go ahead and drop it. I'm trying. Drop your oh, block right where it says drop your block. Okay. So, so this way, you know, everything will be saved at the bottom. Those yeah. icons will be linked up, you know, uh -huh. and then, and then that button. Okay. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. The button, it says, click here for your free seller's guide. It says that on the very first email, we are now on email number two and on. We don't need that. We do. 
Oh, but we do. You're gonna you're gonna change the words. It's not gonna be click here for your free seller guide. It's gonna be click here to schedule your strategy call. Click here to schedule a call. Click here to oh. call, to schedule a call now. So that's gonna be and a that, click here button to go to your calendar. Right. It's gonna link to my calendar then. That's gonna link to so, your calendar. So go ahead and this. change out the text. Click here to schedule your call, or click here to schedule a call. Go ahead and play around. Ah, oh, you keep clicking it. I know, I know better, but go back to the Karcher one. Okay, right here. So edit, go to the copy in the top left, right there. So click here to schedule your call. You know, and so that would be, you know, to tell you the truth, it'd be that one that you'd want to save as template because that's the one oh. you're going to keep using over and over. It's not the first one with the PDF. Well, what I could do is after I get this one done. I will save this template. So save this the, template and delete the other one. So actually you can do that now. You can actually do it now. Click here to schedule. You know, call. I don't know that I want to do that now because now I've, then I've got to remember how to do. Oh, I just have to, all I have to do is link my um, seller's guide to it. Never mind. I could do it now. Okay. No, no, no. You already, this is linking your calendar. You already linked your seller guide to the first email. You're fine. We're in the second email now. No, I know. But if I'm going to save this one, then I've got to change the other one because no. I, I, no, the other one's already saved in email number one. You're fine. So let's just save this one. Let's save, let's get rid of, get rid of, actually, you know what? We need to link to your calendar first. We need a link to your calendar. So let's just click here to schedule your call. Go to, go to, Finish writing whatever the hell you're writing here. Click here to schedule your call. Is that all? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Scroll to the very top. Let's let's hit the edit the green one. Now let's 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 hit done and let's X out of here. Let's go to exit. um. Done and exit. Yeah. Wait. X out. X out of here. Close. Close. And then um done and exit. And let's go grab the link to your calendar. So let's hit my calendars to the left. And then let's grab this link. So go ahead and um, hit the three dots. Hit the three dots. Nope, nope, not the on the calendar. Hit the three dots on the calendar. What I did. Oh, down here. Okay. Click on uh, get code or get calendar. Yeah, click on that one, get calendar. And then just simply um, click on that, Karcher hosted page. And there's your link. So copy that okay. link. Now let's go yeah. back to, let's X out of this, copy it, X out, go back to my communications. Now let's click on communications at the top, go to sequences and go to that sequence. So now just click on the edit, edit, and then let's go to email number two and then click on the three dots and go to edit. And then we're gonna add that link and that template is what you should save. Mm -hmm. Cause that's the one you're going to use over because, because from email number two and on, it's all about hitting the button, schedule a call. Right. 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 So, right. so if I can save that template and just use it over and over, yeah, hit edit. That's, that's the one I want. So scroll down, edit the button, paste in that link right there in the URL, delete that entire thing, double click, delete everything in there. You should be able to just double click. If you double click, it highlights the whole thing and you just delete. Let me see. Can you double click? I don't know. Just delete and delete it somehow. Okay. So paste in that calendar link. There goes your calendar. So match those icons. Open up all those tabs. Open up in another tab Facebook. Open up Twitter. Open up LinkedIn. Open up Instagram in another tab. Grab that full link at the top, and that becomes the URL for all those icons. Oh, That's really? what you should work, work on now. Like, work on this real quick now. Um, what I did before was I just, I just did them individually, you know? Yeah, do them individually. So go ahead and click on that, edit, and this link over here, that URL, that's where your Facebook, Facebook URL goes. So it's right there. So that's what I I'm saying. If you just... If you just opened up every platform, you can just copy oh, yeah. oh, I, it. Now I know what you're saying. Okay. So do I need that um, hashtag? No, no, not at all. Delete all that. 
Oh, delete the whole thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's just showing you an example of where, you know, where it goes. So you'll paste in. So it's just this. Yeah, so copy. Actually, it's the whole thing. Cop double click it, double click it. You got to grab, make sure it's the whole thing, the HTTPS. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, I know I did it right before because they were. Oh, we're already there still on Facebook. Um, I think, yeah, just go ahead and paste it in right there. And then. Yes, yeah, I don't know why no the apply. icon. Yeah, I don't know either. There's uh, no apply here. No, you just click out. So. That's an easy thing. So there's okay. that, um, and then just do the same thing for Twitter, and then you okay. save as template. So just take away and that Twitter. Save it, yeah. Yep, and then and then and then link everything, and then just save as template and use that one over and over. And that's it. So that's your sequence. So knock that out today, and then let's let's chat tomorrow, and that's when we start that first ad. Okay, I can knock it out much easier when I'm not on the phone with you for yeah, some no reason. Yeah, no worries. Just let me so know what time works tomorrow. Twitter one there. Yeah, that's your whatever. Twitter. Actually, no. Click on no. Click on profile. Profile. Go to your profile and copy that link. So it's all right, thing. David. Okay. What time tomorrow works for you? All right, I'm Perfect. gonna say edit. Yeah, edit change out the subject line, right? So that's why there's a lot of editing that needs to be done here before we yes, ever run an ad. Like this part has to be- Everything, I'll change everything. Yeah, change out the okay. communication. I'll just sit there tonight and I'll just do- Perfect. You'll be proud, you'll Sounds be happy. Good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Let's chat okay. tomorrow. Thanks, Christine. Uh, David, David's calendar? Yeah, no, no, just um, I'll email you the link. I'll, I'll find it. Thank okay. you. Okay, bye. I have it. Okay, bye-bye.